Hey, investigators returned to the Southern California home of a couple accused of torturing their 13 children and keeping some of them shackled to furniture. It was the first time yellow tape was used to block off the street in front of the home since the arrest. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Christina Janes. Riverside County investigators have been busy all day gathering evidence and processing the suburban Paris home as a crime scene. And now the family is speaking. Brenda Taylor, who lives in West Virginia, says that she is Louise Turpin's aunt, and she says she wants justice for the children. I've never been so shocked in my life. I hope they prosecute him to the fullest extent of the law, even if she is my niece. Now the children who were homeschooled were found Sunday after one of the sisters was able to escape and call 911. A state lawmaker who represents the Paris community is now getting involved. He's preparing legislation that would add more oversight for homeschooled children. Let's dig into this more. CBS 13's Lamore Abrams is here now getting answers on what's behind this proposal. Christina and Tony, Assemblyman Jose Medina says he's stunned to learn that state officials never went inside this home to inspect it. Not because they assumed something was wrong, but because those 13 children didn't just live here, they went to school here. Neighbors say this Paris home where investigators found 13 tortured children was hidden in plain sight. If we would have known sooner, we would have tried and helped them. But the horrific discovery is putting a spotlight on the home school the parents, David and Louise Turpin, operated inside. As the law now is, there is no reason for uh, anyone to, to come into the facility. So tell me about yourself as a teacher. Assemblyman and former teacher Jose Medina is working on legislation giving state officials the power to check on homeschooled children. How often would state officials go into these homes? At a minimum, uh, it, it should happen on an annual basis. Here at the Department of Education, the state superintendent says current law just doesn't go far enough. It only requires that home schools and private schools register with the agency, but it doesn't approve, inspect, monitor, or oversee them. The District of Columbia managed to overcome that and create new oversight in 2008 after a quadruple murder in a homeschool case. Rachel Coleman runs a nonprofit recommending strict oversight for children taught at home. She says abuse in homeschool is nothing new. There were 11 children kept in cages in Ohio. Just in November, a boy starved to death. Critics say child abuse should not be blamed on homeschool. The Homeschool Legal Defense Association sent CBS 13 a statement, reading in part, Hasty legislation based on one family's horrific and criminal behavior, behavior that has nothing to do with homeschooling, would be unfair to the thousands of law-abiding families in California who work hard to provide a safe and loving educational environment for their children. Now, that homeschool lobby says it'll reject any legislation in California. It's done so before and succeeded, but this time the State Department of Education, the superintendent there, tells me he is prepared to fight back. So, Lamar, was this couple registered with the Department of Education? Yeah, they were. The father was listed as the principal, but besides an address and the type of school, the State Department of Education had no information about this household. And how common is homeschool legislation? Do other states have something like this? I did dig up some numbers, and in the last five years, five states have enacted some sort of legislation that'll do a couple of things. First, create background checks for parents, requiring parents to... to put some sort of fingerprinting on paper. Mm -hmm. Currently, only public and private school employees have to do this. And second, require mandatory contact, allow state officials to go into a house and inspect what's going on in there. Yeah, someone's going to watch the kids if the parents aren't going to do it. Right. Lamore, thanks.